What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and I'll bring you today another DLC leak. But this one has a little more backbone due to it supposedly coming from the Microsoft Store. I have since looked and cannot find it but it was claimed to have been removed not long after going up. It still could have been put together by some saddle and that may be the case but again it could be legit information so it's definitely worth a cover but hey people if you'd like to support the channel hitting that like button truly does help me and the channel out and i do appreciate that support now later today in a few hours in fact we get the bungee reveal stream on this dlc so we won't know for sure if this information is legit until then but let's get into it either way and like i said this is supposedly from the microsoft store Description and features read Destiny 2 Expansion 3 The Every Forsaken continues your Guardian's journey in an all new cinematic campaign. Viridus King of Dusk has led a massive assault upon the Reef, leaving little in his wake. With the Reef now occupied by the Fallen, a new clan of Fallen known as the Forsaken has rebelled against the House of Dusk, sending the Fallen into a massive civil war. With the Fallen engaged in all at war, Varix the Loyal has called upon Guardians. Help him claim his right as Kell of Cows and settle the war before the system is thrown into chaos. Features all new raid, ascent of kings, new theme weapons, armor and gear to earn, all new enemy faction, the Dusk Kings, all new haven cooperative activity, new strikes, new cinematic campaign and adventures, uncover the secrets of the Awoken in an all new destination, the Vestian Flotilla. It also states the DLC will release on September 11th and will cost $40. So a new raid is pretty obvious to be in the works. Ascent of Kings sounds cool. New enemy faction called the Dusk Kings. Pretty sure we've all also heard of the fallen faction mentioned here. The House of Dusk. Nothing new in that. New Haven activity. I wonder what this is. It could be the activity many content creators got to play at the Bungie Studios about a month ago. Uh, could have been a little longer. Still had no details and that so far. Uncover the secrets of an all new destination called the Vestian Flotilla. I mean, we all know of the Festian outpost, but Flotilla, never heard of it. Description sounds pretty awesome too. I would also like to mention the teaser we see of Cade and the other hunter landing on the roof. It does look well kind of destroyed to a point of it being taken over, like the description reads. The King of Dusk has led a massive assault upon the roof, leaving little in his wake. So it could be plausible people. Also it states, we will be called upon by Varix the Loyal. Well, it's been a while, Varix. I guess we will meet again. Again, also people, according to the leak, like it states, it will be released on September 11th and will cost $40. Now, I've seen many people over the past few days demand this DLC be free considering the past Destiny experience and it will take a major DLC to fix the game. I mean, I agree to an extent. But this DLC will not be free. Activision, Bungie, they will take any single opportunity to bleed us dry of money they can find. And this DLC, if it is free, I will eat my Xbox controller. I mean, it would be amazing. And to be honest, it would be a loud and clear message from Bungie. But I just don't see it happening, people. I mean, obviously it would bring many, many people back. I mean, so much of the community now refuse to spend any more money on the game. And you can understand why. A major free DLC would entice so many of those folks back. But people, I just cannot see it happening at all. Destiny 2 now isn't in such a bad state, but the past experience of the game has drove so many people away. I mean, a major expansion, a major DLC, if put across right, could entice many, many people back, even if it isn't free. And that's what I'm hoping we see from the stream later today. Even if this leak is completely false, even if the leak we had a few days about the Summon Number 9 is completely false, whatever they put across to us needs to be something major, needs to be something exciting, needs to be something we all get hyped about. Because if the DLC is not free, it's going to be a real hard job for Bungie and Activision to entice so many people back who have left the game. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below in that comment section. Do you think this DLC should be free? Do you think that's a good call? Let me know. On that note guys, I am out. I would dive deeper into this leak, but at the end of the day, we don't know whether it's legit or not. And I obviously don't want to waste my time breaking something down, which could end up being absolute bullshit. But either way, people will find out in a few hours. And as per usual, people, I'll have you covered if you missed the stream. I'll have you covered on all the juicy news coming out of the stream right here on my channel. So subscribe if you are new around here. But on that note, guys, I am out. Thanks, as always, for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like truly does help me out. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.
understand But you and I will carry on We never get it right